hello everyone welcome to your channel sukh academy at dubai today we will solve next 15 questions uh, i had already uploaded the video which contains first 15 questions that video has been uploaded you can check that video in our channel otherwise i'll also provide that link in the description box you can check that now we will start from 16th question uh, in this question, uh, they are asking that in SO3 molecule, 1 p orbital and 2 d orbital. 1 p orbital and 2 d orbital are involved in S double bond O pi bond formation. However, all S double bond O bond lengths are equal. Okay. And they are providing four reasons for that. We have to pick one, correct? Reason so uh, first is involvement of the equivalent hybrid orbitals in pi bonding. Second is considerable polarity in the in bonds. Delocalization of pi bonds in the molecule. Ionic covalent resonance in the molecule. The correct answer of this question is C. Okay, delocalization of pi bonds in the molecule. If we consider Hybridization, SO, uh, the hybridization of SO3 molecule is sp2, okay. For sulfur atom, central sulfur atom, hybrid electronic configuration is 3s2, 3p4. This is its ground state. In the excited state, two electrons transfer to 3d orbital, vacant 3d orbital, okay. These two electrons transfer to vacant 3D orbital. So, after bonding with oxygen, this is hybridization of SO3. That is sp2. It involves 1s2p orbitals. Okay. Still, it has three non-bonding electrons that involved in pi bonding with oxygen. Okay. There are three pi bonds. So, this is structure of SO3. Okay. And this SO3 in this structure, due to electron activity difference, sulfur atom always ex exhibit plus 2 charge and 2 oxygen get negative charge. Okay. So, these electrons always involved in delocalization. Okay, so ultimately there are three double bonds, okay, and all uh, two oxygens get negative charge and uh, involved all the pi electrons involved in delocalization. So that's why all the S double bond O bond lengths are equal due to delocalization of pi electrons. So is, uh, the correct answer is in the next question, uh, they are asking consider the following statements regarding NF3 molecule. Uh, first is NF3 has bond angle value much lower than tetrahedral bond angle. This statement is correct because uh, NF3 has bond angle um, 102.5 degree. And you know tetrahedral bond angle is 109.5 degree. Okay, so NF3 has bond angle value much lower than tetrahedral bond angle. And in the second, they are uh, saying that NF3 is a good Lewis base. This is also correct. And nitrogen contains lone pair of electrons, so it acts as a Lewis base. Okay, so it can easily form, like uh, uh, for example, it can form NF4 positive. Okay. So, NF3 is a good Lewis base. So, both the statements are correct. So, is, uh, the correct answer is C, both 1 and 2. We have to provide uh, correct statements. Okay. Next, in the 18th question, uh, which one of the following reactions is not possible between diborane and ammonia? Uh, in this uh, question, they uh, both A, B and D. All these three statements, uh, all these three reactions are possible, okay? And the reaction which is not possible between diborane and ammonia, that is C, okay? So, we have to provide that answer, that option. We have to check that answer which is not possible. So, uh, in this question, our correct answer is C, okay? If we want to obtain 
B4H6 for uh, that there should be reaction between it can be formed from diborane. Uh, in actual, this is decomposition reaction where two moles of diborane decomposes into one mole of tetraborane and one mole of hydrogen. So, this is a correct reaction. Uh, but this is not possible. So, uh, uh, C is the reaction which is not possible. So, in this question, C is a correct answer. In the 18th question, uh, for zinc sulfide, a radius ratio uh, is 0.52. That suggests a coordination number of 6 for both cation and anion. Uh, however, in reality, uh, zinc sulfide adopts a coordination number 4 in uh, ratio 4. This is because uh, in this question, the correct answer is C. Okay. Uh, however, uh, uh, radius ratio suggests that it, it has an octahedral structure. But in actual, uh, coordination number is four, uh, 4 by 4 because zinc is surrounded by 4 sulfide. It occupies tetrahedron holes. Because zinc 2 positive is too small to occupy octahedral holes. So, in the, in, its, uh, in the both structures of zinc sulfide, coordination number is 4 by 4. So, correct answer is C. In the next question, practically calculated lattice energy using Bohr and Land equation of hypothetical molecule NaCl2 is this. And while well, that of NaCl this. Both the, uh, both the molecules are assumed. In the next question, theoretically calculated lattice energy using Borel and the equation of hypothetical molecule NaCl2 is this, while that of NaCl is this. Both the molecules are assumed to be formed from elements in their standard states, yet NaCl is a stable molecule, yet NaCl is a stable molecule while NaCl2 does not exist. The reason for this, uh, the Borland equation is used to find the lattice energy, okay. Uh, we can calculate lattice energy of any molecule by using this, but that is theoretically, okay. But uh, uh, for example, for NaCl2, we can calculate a lattice energy using this equation that is much higher. Okay, uh, as compared to NaCl, but NaCl2 does not exist uh, because lattice energy is obtained when ions are combined. So, if it uh, to form the NaCl2, there should be Na2 positive plus 2 Cl negative so that it can form NaCl. But to form Na2 positive, there should be high amount of ionization energy. Okay, so uh, to form the uh, Na positive, the energy required uh, approximately 400. Okay, but for the formation of Na2 positive ion, there should be 4, 5, 6, 2 kilojoule per mole of energy. Okay, and that is a very high amount of energy required for the formation of it. So, that's why uh, second ionization energy of sodium metal is too high. So, uh, the, uh, NaCl2 does not exist. Its correct answer is B in this question. In the next question, the solubility of an ionic compound in a solvent depends on. Uh, the solubility of ionic compound uh, depends on both lattice enthalpy and solvation enthalpy. Uh, in the case of lattice enthalpy, uh, this uh, refers to energy that required to break the ionic bond in the uh, solid crystal lattice. If lattice enthalpy is high, the compound tends to be uh, less stable uh, because it is harder to break that strong bonds. So, so uh, lattice enthalpy and solvation enthalpy both uh, plays important role for the solubility of an ionic compound in a particular solvent. So, correct answer of 21 question is C. Next question is consider the following statements regarding Frankel defect in solid. First is uh, the compounds having Frankel defects have some covalent character. This is incorrect statement. Frankel defect and Schocke defect both shown by the ionic crystalline ionic solids. Okay, this is incorrect statement. Second is compounds having Frankel defects have small positive ion and large negative ion, where small positive ions are highly polarizing and large negative ions are readily polarized. So, this statement is correct. Frankel defects involve the uh, 
फ्रेंकल डिफेक्ट कंटेन स्मॉल पॉजिटिव आइंस एंड लार्ज नेगेटिव आइंस सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट अल्टीमेटली देर आर देर इज नो रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू स्टेटमेंट सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ओनली इन दीज केस इज ओनली स्टेटमेंट टू इज करेक्ट एंड स्टेटमेंट वन इज फॉल्स सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर स्टेटमेंट वन इज फॉल्स बट स्टेटमेंट टू इज ट्रू next two type of fluorine atoms in this molecule are indistinguishable while in this equally placed fluorine atom is distinguishable from apical apical meaning axial fluorine atoms with the help of 19f nmr spectroscopy okay if we uh, check the structures of these two molecule the structure of cs3 pf4 both have a tri trigonal bipyramidal structure okay and if we check the structure of this one is cs3 pf4 other is ch3 two times pf3 okay in the trigonal bipyramidal structure of this is contain a uh, electron active atom on the axial position and other two fluorine atom at the two equatorial positions and there will be one methyl group in this case this is the structure of this molecule okay see in this case uh, both the axial fluorine atoms and equatorial fluorine atoms are indistinguishable through 19f nmr spectroscopy because due to pseudo rotation okay due to pseudo rotation okay but in the pseudo rotation they can replace their sites easily but in the case of these molecule this molecule uh, it is difficult to become indistinguishable because both methyl groups generates rigidity in the structure so that's why wo, uh, there are two type of the fluorine atom in this structure two are axial and one is equal so ultimately there are two types which can be easily distinguished by 19f nmr spectroscope so the correct answer is d in this question two methyl groups pose higher rigidity in the molecule to allow pseudo rotation so in this case pseudo rotation is in the next question the bond angle in water molecule is 104.5 degree the p character in the non bonding set of orbitals will be okay so uh, okay the p character in non bonding set of orbitals will be in this question we have to provide p character of the non bonding electrons okay so if water have sp3 hybridization in that case there are two lone pairs okay if we uh, calculate s character first of all we will calculate s character okay and if a value of cos theta already provided in the question that is minus 0.25 solve of this part calculate percentage multiply it with 100 and after solving it there is 20% as correct okay this 20% as correct is of one oh bond okay this oh bond has 20% as correct it mean for this we uh, if we subtract 20% from 100% 80% is p character of this bond similarly this bond has also 20% as character and 80% p character now we have 
two lone pair in this structure. If we uh, consider overall S character, overall S character of bonding electron is 40%. This is 20%, this is uh, 20%. So, overall for bonding electrons, okay, 20 plus 20 overall 40% is S character. Clear? If to, uh, S character is 40%, so if we consider lone pair for non-bonding electrons, non-bonding electrons, subtract this 40% S character of bonding electrons. So, there is 60% S character for non-bonding electrons. For non-bonding set of orbitals, total there is 60% S character, but we have uh, two lone pairs, so divide it by two, so there is 30% S character for both orbitals, so both non-bonding set of orbitals, there is 30-30% S character. Similarly, subtract this 30% from 100, so that will be 70% P character, okay? P character for non-bonding set of orbitals. So, in this question, they are asking us about the P character of non-bonding set of orbital. Okay, so uh, for each non-bonding set of orbital, there is 70% P character. So, in this question, the correct answer is B. In the next question, the wave function if this express the phenomenon next question is next question is werner confirmed the presence of primary and secondary valencies in the coordination compounds this this and this by there are four options the correct answer is a because in the werner theory or for these type of compounds all the coordination compounds like in this we can write it for example i'm considering this coordination compound this is the exact way of writing coordination compounds okay so in this case it is treated with silver nitrate okay it is treated with silver nitrate and after treating it there will be a formation of precipitates of silver chloride in each case in this case also and in this case also so in the werner theory Cold aqueous solution of cobalt complexes is treated with excess of silver nitrate solution. Okay, so correct answer is A. In the 27th question, which one among the following chelate rings will be more stable? Uh, the correct answer is B. Five membered chelate ring is more stable as compared to. 7 member, 6 member and 4 member ring. So, correct answer is B. The next question is, which one of the following is the correct IOPAC name of this? Okay. The correct IOPAC name is, uh, the correct option is C because uh, there are two probabilities. One is lithium tetrahydroaluminate and one is lithium tetrahydro aluminate okay but see in this case there is h negative okay there is h negative aluminium get po three positive charge and there are four h negative okay so uh, h negative that is a hydride ion so we will write it as hydride do so that's why the correct answer is c in this question lithium tetra Tetra for four hydride tetrahydrido aluminate. In the 29th question, consider the following reaction. Okay, in this case, how many isomers of the product complex are possible for the above reaction? Uh, the correct answer of this question is B. Okay, in this case, the complex is of such type like M, A3, B3 exist in two isomers. One isomer is facial 
and other isomer is meridional. Okay, and in the facial isomer. In the facial isomer, there are ligands. Okay, you can see that this has octahedral structure. Okay, in the meridional, in the meridional. There is also octahedral, okay, environment around the metal head. In the facial, in the facial isomer, there are three ligands attached adjacent on adjacent position around the metal atom. Okay, this is the structure. And in the meridional, there are two atoms on the adjacent, and here will be B atom. There will be B ligand or this is the position in the meridional. Okay. In the facial isomerism, all the three ligands are adjacent to each other and these three ligands identically occupy one face of the octahedron like this part. This is one face of octahedron. Okay. And in the case of meridional, it contains both pair of cis and trans ligands. So, this is a pair of ligands which are attached cis to each other and this is that attached to trans to each other. Okay. So, these type of complexes exist in two isomers one is facial and other is meridional so correct answer is b in the 29th question next in the 30th question the effective atomic number of this complex is okay so effective atomic number for k4 fe cyanide 6 k4 fe cyanide 6 okay to calculate effective atomic number, effective atomic number, we can calculate it by using this formula. Okay. In this case, Z is atomic number and X is oxidation number and Y is coordination number. Coordination number. Or in our case, for iron atom, atomic number is 26, okay? And oxidation state we can calculate. Here are 4 potassium atom. In this case, this complex will be coordination sphere will get 4 negative charge. So, here oxidation state of iron will be 2 positive, right? You can consider X for iron and there are six cyanide atoms uh, there are six cyanide so oxidation number of iron is plus two okay so value of x is plus two and uh, coordination number what is the coordination number of iron six there are six cyanides around iron in octahedron position so Value of y is 6. So, put these values in this. Z and value of x is 2 plus 2 times 6. Thirty six. Okay, so thirty six is effective atomic number of this compound. So C is the correct answer in this question. Okay, students. So other questions we will cover in the next video. Okay, if you if you have any feedback or doubt, you can 
write that in the comment section and don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel okay thank you